pumpkins. So I came home to my room and it's absolutely the most clean it has ever been because my mom invited a maid, like hired a maid and she cleaned my room so perfect and it's so clean. I don't remember my room being as clean as it is today ever, like ever. Everything has even different colors, like it's amazing. There's no dust at all and everything's so neat. That's amazing. Just, just look. Whoa. No dust at all. And there's also even piano. Oh my gosh, it's black. That's amazing. And the floor is clean. And here, everything's so neat. And see, see this? No old food. Great. And the slippers, I don't know where she found them, but but okay, that's fine, right? And here is so neat. Everything's so neat. And here. The dustbins also cleared and all and that's amazing because I never cleaned them and here the floor clean everything's so freaking neat and my bed my bed is made see this see this this is beautiful and here another slippers these ones I really haven't seen in like a year or something and here everything's so so clean and neat and that's pretty amazing, isn't it? The mirror. The mirror has been cleaned. That's so beautiful. Everything washed. Everything clean. Everything totally, absolutely beautiful. Don't you see that? I hope you do. Okay, so I have a little update for you. I've been to the doctor and she said I've got some kind of a respiratory tract infection. And she prescribed me like a whole lot of medicines. And I'm like... I am not going to stuff all these chemicals into my body, so instead I went to the shop and bought some herbs. Radix Symphitic, it's like instead of an ibuprofen. Colt's foot is for the throat. Thymes is for the throat. Nettle is for the vitamins. And black lilac is for the flu. So as I just proved to you, there's no need for chemical medicines when you can have natural herbs. You're welcome. You're very welcome. I even wrote like a little schedule for myself in here like when to take what so it's neat oh and i got this gigantic package of gingerbreads this is so cute because they're vegan like gingerbreads are naturally vegan if you make gingerbreads that aren't vegan means they're not real gingerbreads because the real ones with the very real pristine recipe they're vegan so it's like a gigantic package of some <laughs> Hey, I'm not kidding you. This is the color of the sky outside. It's not in a filter or anything. It's past 2 a.m. And this is the color of the sky. Sick. I mean, so freaky weird. And kind of scary, isn't it? Weird. Here I am on a dinner at Auntie's. And here I was strewn through war, so among this beautiful mist and beautiful snow, I was appointed to the doctor and I was getting totally lost. Then had myself a tea and it was absolutely awesome. Just wanted to tell you, pumpkins, right now was the very first time in my entire life that I have not made it for the bus from home. Like, walking from home to the bus stop, I have not made it for the bus. It's the first time. Because it did happen like many times, many occasions, that I have not made it for the bus that was like somewhere in the city, right? Because it happens because you have to walk and all. But from your house, you should have it calculated. Yet, I have not made it. Amazing, the very first time, you know. That's okay, I'm updating you a little now because I'm waiting till the other bus will be going. I have like three minutes to the bus stop so I can let myself sit in here and talk all waiting for another bus. So what I wanted to update you with is I was having a really great time today. I visited my grandma and it was such a lovely time. She made me some pies, like vegan ones, so that's a skill because um, like it it took her time to accept it, let me tell you. So like pies made of potatoes, onion, carrot and a little bit of apple um, with buckwheat and they were good, they were really good. And we were just sitting, talking, her telling me a little bit about her family and her history and all and it was quite interesting. Like I like listening to people's stories, you know, and she has some 
pretty good stories I tell you. She was showing me some of her historical items like some gifts she got and from whom and all and she gave me this bracelet. You see this Eiffel Tower? So cute! And then I went to my auntie's because my auntie and my grandma they live in a semi-detached house so I went to my auntie just for a moment to return the GoPro that I borrowed from them and she just said oh come on come in because I said it uh, the coffee machine for you already and she made me a coffee because she always makes me coffee and that's so sweet and she got the soy milk for me so I got myself that and then she made me a tortilla with veggies and all and it was completely lovely and it was just sitting and talking and that was the the best time in the world because I, I literally love their house that they're so inviting they always make you coffee they always make you food they always respect your food preferences what well, is very important for me and she's like the best cook that I know she's like the best really and she's, she's so great and I love talking to her and it's just so cheerful and so familiar and cozy i love being there and she said i can come to them whenever i want whenever i'd like to because they're usually home so when i when i want to visit them i can and that's like the best thing in the world because i love being there i really love being there it's one of those places i love being at like it brings me so many good feelings you know and so from my aunties i was supposed to go straight to the directing workshops which are like you know half an hour away from my house so I had to go back to my house and drive to the directing workshop so it's like a coaching thing for people who want to be theatre directors in the future and I don't plan that but the workshops are just fun so I'm attending them so I got back I bumped into house for literally two minutes and I was running to the bus stop but I have not made it because I'm stupid you know that's why oh and about that I am really so stupid recently like i don't know what happened to my brain but it's not in my head i'm i'm certain of that so i was supposed to have a doctor appointment yesterday you know uh, according to all this costa coffee stuff and i was driving there and i was in a train already like halfway there and i was like oh shit i have not taken the referrals with me and when i don't have the referrals i cannot go for an appointment to the doctor and that's that's how brilliant I am so I called them up counseling and postponing the appointment and so I have not been in the doctors yesterday how freaking brilliant like that is so weird and on Tuesday I was actually seeing with my friend Anne and that was such a great time we have not vlogged anything because why would we oh and I had myself like some kind of a tortilla in there like it was some vegan food stuff point yeah um so so that's that you know that's all about my update so that's why i encourage you to thumbs this video up if you liked it and stalk me by clicking the subscribe button adios okay so okay so